All right, so today I'm going to be doing an update on our microwave cabinet. So when you last saw it, this was it here. It's a 27 inch over the microwave cabinet. And basically by the time our microwave um, will be installed, our microwave has a height of 17 inches, 17.125 inches to be exact, but we'll just round that down to 17. Um, by the time the microwave um, would be installed, it would only give us a 15 to 15 and a half inch clearance between the bottom of the microwave and the stove top. And um, that is really not enough room to work with on your stove top. It's not definitely isn't the ideal clearance. Um, I think you want somewhere around um, minimally 18 inches. Um, you want to hit it around the 20 inch mark. Um, to have a nice amount of space to work with. You want to be able to see the back of your stove. You want to be able to put um, a, a, a stock pot on your back burners and have room to work with it. So um, we contacted Lowe's with this issue and um, it took them several days to sort it out, but they decided that to approve <laughs> the change of the cabinet without any charge to us because the designer had um, made the decision to order uh, this 27 inch cabinet um, for a 15 inch height microwave, which um, there are no microwaves out there um, that range in the 15 inch height. Most microwaves are around 17 inch and at lowest 16 inch height. Um, so they decided to order us a new cabinet and I got to pick the size. Um, and I went for a 21 inch cabinet. So um, here is the newly installed over the microwave cabinet. It took three weeks for the mi microwave cabinet to be delivered to us. So as you can imagine, during that time, um, nothing else could be done. Um, the backsplash could not go in, so everything was put on hold yet again with our project. Um, so you can imagine how we felt about that. Um, not very thrilled at this point. Um, so it took three weeks for this one to arrive. It is um, 21 inch in height, which is six inches higher than the previous cabinet. And as you can see in the picture, um, it's, it's higher now. And you can see that gap between um, the new drywall and the wall that was there previously. Um, that wasn't showing before because uh, the cabinet came down lower. So another very interesting thing came up because of this whole um, uh, clearance issue. Um, let me show you a picture here of um, the, the um, side cabinet to the left of the microwave cabinet. As you can see, um, it is this is a new cabinet and the reason it had to be replaced was um, I'm going to show you a picture of the old one and here you can see that um, the side of that cabinet is a very light color. It doesn't match our um, wood color and so and let me zoom in here for you as well. Um, you can see the ugly staples that are uh, present in this side cabinet. Um, and apparently, had this microwave fit issue not come up, we would have been stuck with this 
um, cabinet here, it's actually not supposed to look like this. Um, it should have a nice, what they call, um, skin on it or a finish edge. Um, as you can see here, I'll insert a picture of the pretty cabinet that it is presently. Um, as you can see, the side of the cabinet now matches our um, cabinet color and it's a nice wood and staples are not showing and the reason is uh, you want a pretty uh, cabinet, the side cabinet is for flexibility should you change the size of your microwave down the road should you choose to install a hood instead of a microwave down the road um, you want that flexibility of moving it up or down and um, you won't be left with the ugly exposed side um, if you ever go through this process and you end up with an um a, a microwave cabinet the side cabinet of the microwave um to uh do not accept a cabinet that has uh staples or a side that doesn't match the front of your cabinet it will make it quite difficult for you to um, change out your microwave or change your configuration down the road so do um, insist upon having a finished side um, to give yourself that flexibility um, so it, I found it to be quite interesting that um, they knew about um, this ugly side cabinet that we had with the staples exposed yet um, they were just gonna leave us with it and um, the reason cited is that the microwave will cover it well but microwaves are not permanent fixtures in your kitchen you uh, may change them out down the road and when you do you don't want to be stuck with that ugly side so that was a very interesting thing that I learned um, so let me show you the other side of the microwave cabinet to our right um, the uh, cabinet here it's it has a veneer um, it's a darker color um, and no staples are showing but at the same time um, it's a veneer wood that does not match the front of our cabinet so on this side um, uh, it should have been uh, what they call skinned to begin with uh, but they left us without the skin had this microwave um, issue not occurred again we would have been stuck with um, an, uh, an ugly side of the cabinet that doesn't match the front of a cabinet making it difficult to change out the height of the microwave down the line so when um, this problem occurred I um, informed them that uh, if the microwave is going to come up higher the sides will be exposed and currently um, the side cabinets do not have matching sides so they decided to um, skin the cabinet so basically it's just a sheet um, that they send a sheet of wood that matches the front of the cabinet and that simply was stapled onto uh, the side of the cabinet so that it now matches the front of the cabinet the way that it should and it looks beautiful now so um, with this new 21 inch uh, height cabinet it should provide us with um, around 21 and a half inch clearance so um, that is um, the update as far as the microwave cabinet is concerned um, uh, next update will be about the backsplash and I um, 
and do have some interesting news on that end as well. So um, yeah, tune in to the next video for more updates and we'll see you next time.